Hello and welcome back to the Magic Attic Kitchen where I'm going to be showing you how to safely clean tarnish and discoloration from metal surfaces. In this case, a late 1930s PL vanishing alarm clock. To do this, you need a few tools. One of them would be a very soft toothbrush. You might need, in this case, uh, a set of pliers, uh, a scissor to cut cloth from, and some uh, maybe some old pajamas, which is what I used so you can polish properly. The other thing that I would recommend is uh, a product called Glow, G-L-O, or you can use Simichrome. Basically, you want a metal cleaner that will not uh, uh, mar the finish of what you're cleaning, nothing abrasive. I'd like to show you um, where I am currently in the process. This is a late 1930s uh, Bulova clock that came with the clock vanish. Uh, I've already done this side, I've restored it, and previously this is what it looked like, and I'll show you how I worked it. When I work, I work a section at a time. You'd also like to test what you're doing by taking a small area maybe on the back of something and trying first. It's really pretty simple to use uh, glow. You take a very small amount of it and you apply it, and then you rub it uh, lightly to cover the surface. You could use a cloth. I use uh, paper towels and a section at a time. So in this case, I would do the whole side of, of this clock. And you're just lightly applying it and you're gonna let it sit for a few minutes. And then after it's sat for a while, you're gonna take a clean paper towel and clean it because you don't wanna rub dirt back into it. And uh, after a few moments, if you uh, rub in the area, you'll see a tremendous difference. This uh, product though, after you've rubbed with a paper towel and you'll see uh, dirt appearing on the paper towel, you'll want to take a cloth. Now this is a, a pair of old pajamas. I like to use cotton and then rub it really fine because that's when all the real dirt comes off. All right. So the other thing is that, as my friend Paul Limbo tells me, uh, before you start cleaning something, you really should understand all the parts. In this case, the bells, which I've already cleaned, were on top of these posts, and they had uh, these uh, fasteners on top. And I also cleaned those. So be careful when you're taking things apart. You want to know that you're going to be able to get them back together, of course. Uh, to give you an idea of um, the final look, this was badly tarnished, this base, and uh, I went a section at a time, a uh, section at a time, and really it's come back beautifully as has the rod. Something else to know is that when you take off parts like screws or something, keep them in a container so they don't get knocked around and lost. Uh, what else can I tell you that would be useful? Uh, this, uh, this uh, tin tray uh, was made by uh, Westinghouse, I'm told, as part of tea sets. They were, they were for tea sets, and P&L bought them from Westinghouse. There's also another maker, my friend Jean Vachel, who knows more about clocks than anyone I know, uh, helps me uh, understand that. Uh, at first, I questioned whether these screws were original, as they are Phillips. But if you look up Phillips head screws, they appear in 1937. And this uh, product first appeared in the 1938 or 39 catalog from PNL. Uh, so, as I say, just uh, go carefully. Uh, I do use the toothbrush to apply uh, the the uh, the glow. So um, I've got a ways to go with this, and I like to remove what I don't need on it. But what I might do is just take a very soft bristle brush and move it into the cracks and crevices. You don't want to apply too much pressure because you don't want to have any kind of scratching, but this won't. But I can see as I'm doing this right now, uh, some of this really mucked on uh, surface uh, tarnish is coming off beautifully. Here's a close look at the finished result. I should have mentioned that this took me three or four um, goes with the uh, Gojo uh, to remove the tarnish. And in some cases, the rust. Also, uh, the use of the toothbrush allows me to get into crevices and corners, but again, go soft and let, let it sit for a little while before you wipe it off. The final polish with a uh, cloth uh, 
cotton cloth that's clean is very important. It'll get dirty, so keep rotating it. You don't want to rub dirt back into a finish. And uh, there's no damage to the finish now. And uh, this is a beautiful prop I'll look to perform soon here on the Magic Attic.